Hey guys! Welcome back to my channel. So I have another video for you guys. Um, I did a video like this a while ago and you know I got a lot of views and a lot of comments on that video so I kind of figured I would maybe recreate or kind of redo um, that video. The video I recorded um, was an interview look hair outfit type of video and I, I got a lot of feedback and how helpful it was and you know critiques on how and what I can change and things like that. It's kind of hard for an interview because you know you do want to go kind of like your natural self but um, you also want to enhance your beauty a little bit as well. So this is kind of what I came up with again. Um, really similar. Uh, and yeah, I know a lot of the comments said that I shouldn't wear black eyeliner. I try to do a thin line as much as possible, but for me I feel like when I do an eyeliner it really opens up my eye and really like accentuates like how big they are. Um, so I don't know, it just, to me it just kind of looks so much more professional, um, in my opinion at least. So as you can see, very, very natural brown. The last one I did, I think I did like more of a um, orange glitter brown. Really similar to that last video, but I figured I would update it since, you know, I have a new camera and um, lighting and quality is so much better. Let's begin. First thing I'm going to do is prime my entire face. I absolutely love this primer. It's the Skin Perfection Gel by Perfect. It really evens out my redness and kind of hides a lot of my imperfections like my pimple scars and things like that. So I love this primer. Next thing I'm going to apply is my Garnier Skin Renewal Anti-Dark Circle Roller in Medium Deep. I apply this every single day before I apply my foundation and then I just blend it away with my fingers. Since we want to achieve great, beautiful, flawless looking skin, grab your best foundation, um, something that's mattifying and oil free so you don't kind of um, get all oily before your interview. I'm using my all time favorite, my Holy Grail. It's by Hourglass, the Immaculate Liquid Powder Foundation, which is mattifying, oil free, and I'm in the shade Honey. Plug this all over your face and move on to your concealer. This is to brighten up your look a lot more. I'm using Revlon's Age Defying Targeted Dark Spot Concealer Treatment for my under eyes. And then I blend this away with a beauty blender. Then I take some Max Mineralized Skin Finish and I apply it on top of my face to kind of set everything in. Applying my eye primer and drawing in my eyebrows, I like to move on to the rest of my face and then back to my eyes. I'm just contouring my face with my favorite bronzer by NYX in the shade Medium, I believe. After eye contour, I like to take this new MAC um, skin, Mineralized Skin Finish Bronzer, which is a beautiful, gorgeous color and it's in the shade Cheeky Bronze. It's a really gorgeous kind of rose gold highlighter slash bronzer that just makes your skin look absolutely flawless as you can see here. I love to use this for summer because it gives you that natural summer glow. So after I apply this um, pretty much over my contour, I apply my blush. I wanted to use a really settled pink so I'm taking the Balm's Frat Boy which is a, like a muted pink, like I said, not too dark, but not too bright, just kind of perfect for an interview. And then I apply this to the apples of my cheek and kind of blend back, to kind of blend everything together. Using any neutral palette or any neutral colors, I'm using the Sonia Keshuk Neutral Palette. You're gonna take the color closest to your skin tone. And then a blending brush, and then just apply this to your crease. Next, you're going to take kind of a darker shade from that previous color 
and you're going to place this right above, um, creating kind of that hazy natural brown look. So yeah, just keep doing what I'm doing here, guys. Don't forget to apply some eyeshadow underneath your eyebrow bones. Um, I prefer matte shadow as always, um, just because I do. So yeah. <laughs> and then the last color you're going to take is a darker brown. Um, not too dark, not an espresso, just kind of close to this color. And then you're going to apply this only to your outer corner, kind of keeping it in that outer B, outer C. Taking a clean blending brush or the blending brush you use with the other colors, you're going to blend everything in. This is just to kind of, uh, like I said, add dimension to your eyes, add a little bit of color as well, but keep it really natural and really simple, um, not too dramatic, and kind of give you that hazy, smoky look, you know? Yeah. And then take a pencil brush or an eyeliner brush and that darker brown that you use and apply this very lightly to your lower lash line. Um, once you do that, you're going to take your liquid liner or your gel liner and you're going to create your kind of slight cat eye like I will be doing. If you don't want to apply any eyeliner, you can totally skip this step and go straight to your mascara. But like I said, eyeliner is who I am and I think it makes me gorgeous, baby. So I'm doing a slight wing, um, not too much. And I tried to keep it as thin as possible, but this is what I got. So what can you do, right? So after applying your eyeliner, you're going to apply um, your eyeliner to your bottom, uh, your lower lash line. I'm using a beige color instead of a black to open up my eyes more. I feel like once my eyes are open and kind of wide, it makes me look more approachable and in a way more professional because it's not too dark and dramatic. Curl your lashes and apply your mascara. Don't apply false lashes because false lashes makes your look so much more dramatic and you want to kind of keep that settled, you know what I mean? Um, going with a nude lipstick uh, or kind of a mute pink would be fine. Nothing crazy, no red lips, girls. That is, no, that is trashy for an interview, so don't do that. And then apply some lip gloss just for a little bit of shine and you are all done guys so here is the finished look uh like i said multiple times very uh simple and toned down and kind of like a great summer look too because your skin is just glowing with natural beauty so i hope you guys enjoyed it love you guys bye